Hello friends, welcome back to Miss Rachel's Sunday School class. This is preschool and kindergarten at First Presbyterian Church and I am so happy that you're here today and I can see you. Hello, hello. Hello Joanna and Esther and William and Henry and Louise and Joseph and Heath and oh excuse me Jack and Peyton and I apologize I forgot to say hello to Jack and Peyton last week so I'm very very sorry I forgot. So, my apologies. But anyway, today is October the 4th. We are here in October, and skies are blue, and it's a little chilly outside, and we're loving this change of weather. So, welcome back, and want to get in our story. Remember, we were talking about Abraham. He was the really old man in the Bible, and he and his wife, Sarah, and God made them a promise. Do you remember? It was that they would become parents at a very old age. It's just crazy. So I'm going to read my story to you so you can see my picture. I'm going to show you this picture first, this book. Okay, you see these three men coming? One day, old man Abraham was sitting in the shade of the trees outside his tent because it was very hot. He looked at the road in the distance and saw a cloud of dust rolling in. Visitors! Who could it be? Remember, he's in the land of Canaan now. Abraham called to his wife, Sarah, to prepare bread for the mystery guest. Soon, three visitors were standing with Abraham outside his tent. He welcomed them, washed the dust from their feet, and fed them the bread that Sarah had made. Sarah and Abraham did not realize that God had sent these visitors to deliver the news that they were going to have a baby. The visitors told Abraham and Sarah that they would return in a year's time to visit them and their new baby. Sarah laughed so hard. She goes, "What? Well, I am 90 years old. I can't have a baby. Impossible. But the visitors said that nothing was impossible with God. We know that, don't we? The three visitors had spoken God's truth. Abraham and Sarah had a baby at just the time God said they would. Sarah had waited a very long time for a baby to love. The wait was long, but it was worth it in the end. She laughed with joy at the birth of her son, so she named him Isaac, which means laughter. Do you all know someone named Isaac? Well, that name in Hebrew means laughter. She knew her friends and relatives would laugh with joy too. Abraham and Sarah celebrated the birth of Isaac. They sang songs and danced to praise God for such a wonderful blessing. And we can praise God too. Now, some of you might have had little brothers and sisters born. You know how exciting that is. That's a big celebration. And what do we do when we have a celebration at a birthday? We have a party. That's right. And what do we eat at that party? Cake, cookies, yes, ice cream, yes, and we can decorate and all that. So this was very, very important because remember the last, uh, last week I told you that um, God said that they would have so many children that you could not even count them. It would be like the stars in the sky. There would be so many or the grains of sand on a beach. So, so many. So this was the start of a great family, was Isaac, okay? So, let's see with another picture here. This is kind of a fun picture, kind of more of a cartoon picture of, of, of Sarah and baby Isaac and Abraham. But at home, what you can do for your activity today is think about how excited they were, and you could even bake a cake maybe, or make some cookies. Now, you know it's really hard, because we have to wait till those things are ready. So, having patience, waiting. Think about how long Sarah and Isaac, I mean, and Abraham had to wait for a baby. I mean, they were great-grandparents' age. They were 90-something years old. That's a long time to wait to be parents. So if they could wait that long, you could wait a few minutes to have some cookies and make some cookies and decorate them and all that. So 
let's let's practice patience. That means patience this week, all right? Be patient when you're waiting your turn to do something, maybe to get on the swing set or get a drink at the water fountain or get in line for food at the cafeteria. Let's try to have patience. Remember, that's loving our neighbors, letting others go first too, all right? So we'll practice that and we'll think about Abraham and and Sarah and how long they had to wait. All right, so great job listening. Um, let's pray together, okay? And guess what? You know what Miss Rachel didn't do? Miss Rachel, we didn't sing our song and we didn't work on turning everything on. So I apologize, but I want you at home to sing Jesus Loves Me. You don't need to sing it with me today, but you did a great job because I could tell you were listening and you had your ears on and your eyes open and your heart open and your brains on and your mouths closed. So great job. So keep practicing that, okay? Okay, great. I love you and I will see you next week. Okay, bye.